What's going on guys? It's Valence I'm back in another video and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to overclock your monitor in 2021. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave a like on the video. So this tutorial is going to be split up into two parts. There's going to be the first part which uses CRU, which is a software that's free to download. And the second part is going to be using the NVIDIA control panel, which is included in your computer if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. So we're going to continue on with the first part. So once you guys are on this website, you're going to see a bunch of text. It's just all the information for the for the software. But all you guys have to do is click on this. And if you guys don't want to download this version right over here at the top, you can scroll all the way down and here are all the old versions. But we're going to be downloading the latest version for this video. We're going to be clicking on this and it should download fairly quickly. So here I have it on my desktop. We're going to be extracting it to our desktop and we are and we are left with this file. So you're gonna click on CRU, it's the blue icon and make sure you guys have administrator access or you guys won't be able to change your timings on your monitor. So it's gonna say Windows is trying to protect your computer because they think this is a, a sketchy program, but it's not sketchy. So just run it anyways. And then click on yes to make sure you give it admin access and now you guys are in your, now you guys are in CRU and you guys can add a bunch of different. So now that you guys are in CRU, it might look confusing, but I'm gonna be helping you guys run through this super easily. So you guys don't have to worry about that. So first off, you guys are gonna click on add up here. Here's, here's the timing. It says manual, but you guys can choose a uh, native HD. If, if you guys are on 1920 by 1080, but I'm on 1440p, so this is what we have. So on a refresh rate, it says 60 hertz. So for a refresh rate, suppose I had a 60 hertz monitor and I wanted to overclock it to around 75. You guys wouldn't be able to just jump to 75 right away because your monitor is just gonna black out. You guys are gonna have to test it out by doing 61 hertz, 62 hertz, and so on. So for example, we're gonna go 63 hertz and click on okay. And you guys can drag it to the top so then it'll be priority and just click on OK. Once that closes out, go back to your folder and click on restart 64 and it's going to restart your display drivers. Once your screen flashes a few times, that means that your display drivers are reset. Now all you guys got to do is right click, go to display settings, advanced display settings, display adapters, and then go to monitor and it should be down here. And once you guys find the one that you want, click on it and then click on apply. Your screen will flash and if, and if you guys can see stuff on your screen, it means it worked. But if your screen is black, it's gonna revert in, in around 10 seconds so you guys don't have to worry. And if it turns black, all it means is you guys have to go down by one and just keep testing. So that's it for CRU, and now we're gonna hop into NVIDIA Control Panel. So first off, we're gonna head on to NVIDIA Control Panel. Once we're here, go to the Change Resolution tab under Display, go to Customize, and then Enable Resolutions Not Exposed by the Display. Now click on Create Custom Resolutions. As stated before, I'm on 1440p, and here's your refresh rate. So since I told you guys to test it out one by one, instead of jumping to 75, last time we did 63, now we can do 64 or 65. The great thing about NVIDIA is that you guys can press the test button right over here and it'll test the resolution for you guys. And if it doesn't work, it'll just revert back in a few seconds and nothing will be harmed. That's about it for NVIDIA. And then once you guys created your resolution, it's gonna be right over here listed in this box. And then it'll be somewhere on this list so you guys will be able to select your resolution and refresh rate. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, smash that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.